Are you looking for an easy way to start an email newsletter and make it rain with a click of the button, just like all the other gurus tell you? Hold up, hold up, hold up, oh, oh God. Boys, can someone let this poor viewer know the real expectations of building a monetizing list, not this guru hyperbole nonsense? What, me? Well, I can explain how I've done it for other clients, but does the viewer know there's effort involved? That's perfect, because I absolutely hate people who are just after the instant riches. All right, so let me break it down. There's three ways to build a profitable newsletter. You ready? And so sit back, I'm gonna show you how to get started, how to get people onto the list, what to say. Like, does that sound like a good idea? And that's where you sit back, watch the whole video, and help my YouTube algorithm out. So building an email newsletter. It's a worthy goal. I work behind the scenes with clients, and I've seen the power of an email list. The reality is, you gotta stay consistent. I personally tried to build my list, create content about five times and every single time I start to build momentum, I get busy with client work, content takes a back burner, list building takes a back burner and the whole thing just crumbles to shit. And I think the main problem for me was I just tried to do too many things at once. So now my only focus right now is on videos like this on YouTube. But this video ain't about me, it's about how to build an email newsletter from scratch. And if I could go all the way back from where I very first started, this is after building and monetizing loads of different clients' email lists, I would definitely start with these three things. So phase one, pretty simple, pick an easy to use email service provider. An email service provider is basically just the hub where you send out all your emails. You don't wanna pick the wrong one. I can tell you some horror stories about some absolute nightmare ones. Let me tell you, the more advanced and the more sophisticated they are, there's definitely so much more room for error. Like when you agree, email marketing should be as simple as copy, paste, spend. But I've spent upwards of 30 minutes clicking buttons just to send one email. So here's three email service providers I would definitely stay away from. I would definitely not recommend things like High Level or Keep or HubSpot. They're complicated as shit. Unless you wanna be a silver fox, go great early, definitely go pick those email service providers. On the flip side, please stay away from piece of shit softwares like MailChimp. <laughs> Even though it's cheap, it has some of the worst email deliverability scores out there, just stay away from that one. Man, I can't wait to start this newsletter. I've heard MailChimp's really good. It's the cheapest option. What seems to be the problem? You can be open with me, this is a safe space. Take me back to your childhood. Like, what really happened? No one told me that MailChimp was terrible. No one's opening my emails. <laughs> well, at least I warned you, didn't I? And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'll tell you which one I personally use and recommend to all clients. And you definitely want to prioritize email deliverability because when you think about it, you can have a great copy, the best offer, but if it's not landing people's inbox, then what's the point? Now that we've picked the right email software to send from, we need to get people onto the list. Otherwise, it's just like shouting at a wall. What do you mean you don't like licking lollipops on a Sunday afternoon? I told you, this is what I like to do for my hobby. Well, not exactly like that, but you kind of get the idea, right? And the best way to get people onto your email list so you can start sending them emails, so you can start sending them offers, and then you can enjoy a pretty cool lifestyle where you can just send one email a day and make more profit in a day than most people make an entire day. You know, like those traditional businesses who just have to suffer and sweat to make a profit, chase clients, that sort of thing. I'm talking to you agency model. Okay, so I'm being a little bit dogmatic with email marketing here. So we've done the right sending software. The best way then to get people onto your list is a lead magnet. But I like to do things a little bit differently when it comes to a lead magnet. This is phase two, and this is to test lead magnets like crazy. Most people have got the concept of lead magnets completely backwards, and I had to learn the hard way. My first few lead magnets, I copied what everyone did. I went to Fiverr and got the sheet. I got it nice designed, and I put it out online. And you know what? It sucked. The market gave me a proverbial middle finger telling me this is rubbish. And it's like, uh, entrepreneurship, you're, you're a great character builder, aren't you? So here's how I discovered this backwards way of testing lead magnets. One of the first things I do with new clients is I reactivate their dead contacts. Only thing was though, I had a project due around 6 p.m. and I left it till 4 p.m. Classic. So I spent the next hour inside of the Google Doc creating the lead magnet. I fully expected the client to lose it at me because it was so ugly, it was so damn basic, it was incredibly short. By short, I mean size 18 font, lots of images. But then the cool part was the next day, we woke up to a sale and I thought to myself, hmm, what if I can do this again? If I can create, you know, okay looking lead magnets, but answer a burning question and use social proof, then I might be onto something here. So the thing I took away was if I can create a lead magnet in an hour and test, see if it works, then I can test 
lots of lead magnets and not have to go through the PDF, the design and the Fiverr and the weighting and everything else that is traditional lead magnet creating. I got pretty crazy doing this so much so that clients ask, how are you speeding this up so quickly? They ask, can you do it for their clients? I created a system using ChatGPT. And if you're interested, there's actually a video right here that shows you how to do that in around 20 minutes. But don't click there just yet. I don't want to get you too sidetracked. Come back, come back. Now for project lead magnet to be mission accomplished, there's only one metric we need to measure for it to be successful. You want to know what that is? Opt-ins. And by the way, when I say an opt-in, I mean a good opt-in. And what I mean by a good opt-in? Well, they're people who come into your list. They don't mind buying stuff. They don't unsubscribe or send you spam stuff. They're fully aware of the expectations when they come onto your list because they already know, like, and trust you. I do not want the freebie junkie who's got a portable hard drive of PDFs they've downloaded and they put it into a vault with dust on it. Get the picture, right? We want quality opt-ins. People want to hand you money. And to get quality opt-ins, you have to have the right bait. And that's the lead magnet. So here's three steps that I use to create this lead magnet. Step one, find what's hot and then combine it with a massive burning problem that your prospect has right now. You may have seen that I've been pushing a lead magnet all about ChatGPT really hard in some of my other videos. That's no accident. Find something that's hot right now, burning pain point, people can't create Facebook ads for shit. The second thing is to create content and be okay with writing average lead magnets. And the reason why is because we're just testing the messaging. People respond to your lead magnet, that's more important than what your design of your lead magnet is. Then once people respond to an opt-in, then you can refine it further. Then step three is find what lead magnet converts the best. And remember the measurement is opt-ins, or in this case, quality opt-ins. And then you wanna keep making content around the subject, which then pushes it to that lead magnet. So you get more traffic to the one that's fully optimized. And that is a high level overview of how you build your list with the right people on the list. At the end of this video, I'll tell you exactly what to say in this lead magnet like I did with this other client so you too can also book high ticket appointments from a lead magnet. Don't worry, it's another YouTube video. I won't charge you for now. And now on to phase three and that's actually starting the newsletter. And what comes with starting a newsletter? Well, you gotta write emails. This is the part where everyone gets shiny object syndrome, goes down a rabbit hole figuring out What's the best email to sell? What's the best sequence to put them down? Go get the template. Like, was that just me? Like, I went to Facebook and just took every single template. Look, I can't be the only one with shiny object syndrome here. If you can also relate with my like ADHD personality, hit the thumbs up. And here's the basics of email marketing. People don't hear from you, they're not gonna buy from you. Luckily, there's an easy way to automate this process and it's called a welcome sequence. It's a string of automated emails that you send out to people after they've given you the contact info. And for all the advanced folks, do not click away. I'm getting to something that's more specific, okay? And will actually help you convert more people. So stick around. So the way I would do it, if I was reverse engineering for a client, I'd be like, how do I get them to consume the freebie, the lead magnet? And to ask that, you've got to work backwards from there. So, okay, what might be the first email? I might give them the freebie, that's a good idea. What might be the second email? Well, I might tell them to go consume it again. And then I think about every single reason why they wouldn't have success with the lead magnet. So in this welcome sequence, I would be spending pretty much every day talking about all the beliefs why someone might think they're not gonna have success with the thing. And this is gonna be like insecurities, hangups. Like if I was giving away a free gym program, maybe one day it might be a story from myself where on my beginnings of my journey, I was really afraid of everyone staring at me because I was fat and overweight when I walked into the gym. But then in that story, it might the relatable part might be you wanted to go, but the fear of judgment and people looking at you, you just never went things never changed. And because of that, they stayed insecure, unhappy, whatever. But that's the pain part. Then you wanna go flip to maybe a pleasure part. Don't mean like that. Just get your mind out of the freaking gutter. I mean stuff like hope, give them inspiration, how maybe a client or a student of yours was in a similar position where someone might be in, like lazy, unmotivated, overweight, and turn things around because they knew exactly what to do every single day, got a result, you kind of get the picture. So we're mixing between pain and pleasure style emails to get people to think, I can do this. And that's the important thing. It's always leading back to your free thing. And if people can consume your free thing and they get a little result and they start to think, I can trust Jules, he's really cool. Then that makes asking for a sale further down the track so much easier. So they're thinking in their head, this is what their free thing does, what does the paid thing look like? So having generated over $15 million in client results with email, and this is probably the simplest, easiest welcome sequence I can give you. Just tell them to consume the freebie and then think of all the beliefs someone might get hung up on for not getting that result. So I've spoken a lot on today's video. Let's recap on how you start an email newsletter. Phase one, 
pick a good, easy email service provider. I personally pick Active Campaign. Number two is to start creating content and test lead magnets like crazy. Once you see what's opting in the most, then steer your content towards that most opted in lead magnet. Phase three, we just covered automate the follow-up process when someone hands you the contact details and get them to consume the freebie and think of every single way why someone wouldn't have success with your product. Turn that into an email. And of course, I told you, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I will tell you how to write that lead magnet that converts. Well, of course, Cheeky Meat, this video is incomplete unless you go watch this video, which details how this client generated over $12,000 using my new lazy way of writing lead magnets. Check it out over here.